So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to work with a really, really gorgeous stone, which is a Mariolite stone. And I'm going to work with some gallery wire, sterling silver gallery wire. And I'm going to show you how to set the stone. So the tools you'll need for this, so I'm going to work with some flush cutters. I've got some chain nose pliers. Uh, I might use a ring mandrel, perhaps some bale makers, and I'm also going to work with a couple of jump rings. You might need to work with a file or uh, an awl. We'll see how it goes uh, when we get to that point. So the starting point is going to be, I'm going to work with the stone and I'm also going to use the type of gallery wire I'm going to work with is the, the oval gallery wire. So I'm going to use this because we've got two sides here. So we're going to have like a, uh, use it at the front and the back of the stone. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and I count three of the ovals. So one, two, three. And I take my chain nose pliers. I'm just going to hold across the gallery wire and put an angle in like that. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to shape the gallery wire around the stone itself. So I'm also going to get my step bail makers here. So I'm going to start at the top of the stone and start to mould and push the wire against the side of the stone. So to help to create that shape, this is where I'm going to use my step bail making pliers. So I'm just going to wrap and just start to get a curve around. And that's going to start and give me that oval shape. I'm going to go back to the stone and follow around. So I'm just taking my time and making sure that I get a good fit around the side of the gemstone. Bring this round. making sure that it doesn't move and that it's flat in the setting. So I want to try and get it so that the bale, the three that we've got here, which will become the bale, we want to get that so it's, it's centred at the top of the oval, as you can see there. So I'm just going to hold here and bring this round. So we want to try and get another one of these angles, but on the other side, on the side here. So I'm just going to hold here and I can already see I need to bring it over just ever so slightly so that it's a little bit more centred. Pull this round while the stone is still flat in the setting. I'm just going to pinch here. So you can see already we've got quite good tension around the stone. It's not going to fall out at, at the bottom here. So I'm going to hold here. And if you can, if it's, if it's married up, so that these ovals are sort of sitting next to each other. So I'm just going to bring that in just ever so slightly so it's sitting flush. I'm going to pinch with my pliers again here. And if we can, I'm just going to adjust it so that I've got three ovals on this side as well. Now with my flush cutters, I'm going to count from the angle that I've put in here, which is there, one, two, three, and then I'm going to cut off. So we've now got three on either side. So we've got the gallery wire going all the way around the stone and we've got three on the one side and three on the other. I'm just going to hold that there. I'm going to use a little bit of scrap wire. I'm just going to pop this through, pop the stone back in. And I'm just now going to use a little bit of scrap wire just to join that together. And so at this point, if it, if it hasn't married up so that it's um, almost so you can see it, you can just make slight adjustments. I'm going to take the piece of wire going through the one side and through the other. And this will hopefully mean that it starts to sort of sit so that the ovals are sat next to each other. You can see how that's sort of tightened that up now. I'm just going to use that scrap wire to just bind bring that in here. So now I'm going to put the stone back in and I can already see by just making the adjustment here with the, the, the three ovals on this side I need to make a slightly um, different angle at this point here. So I'm just going to go back in with my chain nose pliers. So what I want to do now is I'm going to start 
and turn a couple of these in. So I'm just going to grip, so let the stone drop out, and I'm going to use my chain nose pliers, and this is the back of the piece, so I'm going to start and turn these in. So I'm just holding the whole piece, gripping, there are three balls, decorative balls, on the, um, the oval gallery wire, so I'm going to hold So there are, there are three decorative balls on the gallery wire. So I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to grip the balls and turn in. And I'm just going to work my way all the way across. So I'm gripping the balls along on each piece of the gallery wire and just bending them in. So I work my way around. And what this will do is just give me like a, a rough guide and so that the the stone is not going to fall out the back. We can go and tidy this up afterwards. I'm just going to keep going, holding at the front, I'm going to turn these in. So I've turned all the ones on the in on the back. You can see the difference. So these are the ones that are sitting at the front. So I'm going to put the stone back in. And I can do a few adjustments here so that this sits neatly into the setting and bring that in there. So in the same way, so you can see how uh, when we've bent them in at the back of the stone, we're going to do something similar to the front. We're going to try and make better contact now. So I've angled the, uh, the chain nose pliers so that I can give that a squeeze I'm gonna, and grip. So it really is coming in contact with the stone. So I've done a couple this side I hold the stone in place, turn it over, and I keep doing, and go the other side. So you can do decorative variations of this, so you could turn down alternate every other lot of the decorative balls if you wanted to, so you could keep, for example, this one up and this one down. But in this piece, it's not taking over the, the overall look of the stone and the piece, so I'm going to turn all of them down. So I'm working my way around and just really securing that stone into the gallery wire. I'm taking my time and making sure that it's pressing against the stone, but I'm not scratching the stone and working my way around. And whilst you're doing this, what will happen is the ones at the back that we've turned we've turned in slightly probably actually come in contact, more contact with the stone. And you can see how this is start starting to neaten up now. So at the top, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this one in and the one the other side. I'm going to check that that stone is held now, and that's looking good. So what we need to do now is we need to work and, and create the bale. So I am going to, I'm just going to unravel a little bit of this so that I can access here. So what I want to do is I'm now going to use my chain nose pliers, but this time I'm going to grip across the third, the one in the middle, sorry, so one, two, three, so it's the second one, this middle one out of the, the three for the bale. So I'm gripping with my chain nose pliers, making sure that they stay together. I'm going to do a twist like that. So it's now facing forward to me. So the other thing, this is where um, we're going to use, and this is why we need it to have hopefully uh, married up together, so they're sat one in front of the other. I'm going to use the file or the all just to enlarge the hole. So I'm going to take my time and just remove just little bits of the of the silver. And I do the same on this side, making sure that those holes are in line with each other. And all you're doing is enlarging the hole so that we can get a jump ring through. Let's have a look how this is looking. So what I'm also going to do is if you needed to, I might snip off Again, so I'm going to take the little balls from the front here and I come in, let's get rid of that bit, and turn the balls from the back and wrap them over. So I'm gripping here, I'm going to turn this over. Sometimes you need to do that, sometimes you don't, depends how much tension there is in that turn. So I'm going to take my jump ring, I'm going to open this. 
going to pop that through the hole that we've enlarged here. Let's close that up. So now that that is all secure, I'm actually going to remove this top oval. And if you still feel like it needs it, you could then go and do the same at the back. So we could remove this section. So we could take off the, the little three decorative balls here and turn this part of the silver over. But that's looking quite secure, so we can leave that. So you can see that's, that's the lovely gallery wire setting around that beautiful gemstone. 